Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the <laughs> it's show. Been a minute. Welcome to the Tell show. It, What's that? How's it going, man? How you doing? Good, chilling, bro. Hold on, let me try to turn this up. Should be up. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. man. What's good, man? Yeah, man. Just uh, just, just missing uh, having to uh, tune into the um, Toronto Talks in a bit. You know, uh, yeah. I thought, I thought you're a fan a fan of the Toronto Talks. Yeah, we're. I think we're gonna do a wrap up show at the end of the year. Yeah. Okay. I think that's a plan. Okay. Because that's definitely. No, uh, when... Was that? No, no. I mean, like, because of the babies, it's not the babies are not mm -hmm. the problem. The problem is, you know. Yeah. Hey, you got you got the first you know the first steps and the first words you got to get that all in you know. So, For sure. Plus COVID. Plus COVID. <laughs> yeah, COVID's a hell of a, hell of a bitch, but um. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I want to do. Uh, I want to talk and talk to you about um, uh, like uh, I, I, I know you've been DJing forever. Um, want to mm. get back into the history of it. I want to know. Um, I want to talk about um, you, you uh, transitioning into um, in, in media and uh, uh, going from a DJ to uh, media and still doing DJing. But uh, 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 let's start from the beginning. When, when did um, what was the first um? Place you ever DJ at? Ever place, place or like yeah, or, or like a, like place, place like a like any like where uh, you're like oh this is like um my like first time ever getting on the turntables in in front of like a a crowd. Okay, the, I guess the first thing is not monumental, but it was the thing that got me um got my energy going was a house party at a, at a, at a, what was the corner again? It was Jasmine and Oakwood. It was a party okay. at Jasmine and Oakwood. That was the very first party. time. House yeah. party. How'd it go? It went well. I mean, I sucked. I mean, <laughs> but I got a crowd reaction, so. Right. I wasn't, I was okay, but I wasn't great. And I got a good reaction, so. And it led right. to another party, to another party, to another party. And if I think Jenny's here, she just logged on. I ended up doing her birthday party like a few months after or a year after I started that. Because okay, a local okay. dude from the neighborhood, he started hooking me up with a lot of parties from that one party. So uh, where, where, where did the, the idea come like, from? I'm like, like oh, I want to be a DJ. It's not... Um, I can't really say it was an idea. Uh, my like dad it? was a DJ. My dad was a DJ, oh, but okay. I, I didn't. I indirectly got it from him, but he wasn't around when I got into it. But I think subconsciously, yeah. that's Conscious, the yeah. reason why. Yeah, right, I have right. another brother that lives in Florida. He be, and he was separated from my father. He was a DJ for years. Okay, so. so it's in the yeah, just, and his son as well was a DJ. Oh, so, okay, okay. Yeah, it's yeah. just in the family. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, what was uh, the first um, set of equipment? Was it like, um, what, what, what was the brand? What was... Uh, well, the first shit I ever used was my mom's my mom's um, stereo system. And it only, and I fucked that shit up. <laughs> I ended up tearing it apart, changing fuses. She used to yell at me all the time. Why, you know, my the thing is, my mom never told me my dad DJ. She never ever told me. So yeah. I don't know if she was indirectly just watching me doing it and be like, "Oh, he's like his father," or she never discouraged me from doing it, but she never told me. So that's crazy. That you know, you remember that. Yeah. Yo, that's that's meant to be. That I right guess there. I don't know. I'm no, not no, sure. I got, <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's a that's an ill thing. Like that's an ill thing. I give you know. Um, so yeah, so uh, you, you're turning that apart. Um, do you remember like what were some of the first records like you were like uh, um, you were hyped about? You mean actually buying like, or just hearing? Uh, buying and like actually like um, like uh, 
DJing and scratch man? That's a hard question. <laughs> I think literally every record that I bought must have been that because every Thursday or every Tuesday you go to the record store to get a new shipment yeah. and I would hear something on the radio and I'm like, I got to get that record. So I, I don't know. I can't pinpoint the first record. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you, uh, um, uh, a friend of mine had turntables and like, I, I never really mm -hmm. got, got into it like a lot, but like uh, a couple times when we were over, over at his house, we'd be chilling, mess around with it. Um, mm -hmm. for the, the first record that, that I ever scratched was, um, oh guys, uh, me and you, you know, mama and yeah, your yeah. <laughs> like, like me, 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 as, as cutting that fire. And that was, that mm -hmm. was the first record that, that like, um, the first time I ever, I, I ever matched with turntables. Uh, I was okay, okay. With that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because a lot of the earlier stuff that I was messing with was my mom's records that were lying around. For sure. So, For sure. I it wasn't like, oh, this record over that record. It was just, what up, chill? Yeah. Hold on, before I continue, because I am sipping on some chill vodka. Y'all gotta, okay. you gotta get your hands on this. You gotta get your hands on this. Gotta okay. get your hands on this. And I'm not even got, doing I'm it because not, it's my boy. I got a cider. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you gotta get your hands on some chill vodka. It's nice and smooth. I have to check it out. Nice and smooth. It. Yeah, man. That's what I'm For sipping sure. on right now. For sure. But yeah. Yeah, it was basically yeah, my mom's you're... stuff lying around. My mom was in my mom listened to a lot of music, so I was already right. pre programmed. Yeah. All types of music across the board. So Definitely, definitely. Um Yeah. Uh definitely like uh, I remember yeah, the records that my mom played back back in the day, like I mean I listen to them all the time now. But like when when they mm -hmm. come on I'm just like, Oh, like it reminds me. Yeah, it reminds me of when I, when I was a kid, just running around being a wild little little shithead, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, for sure. So, um, uh, what was like, uh, like, uh, you have a moment where, like, um, uh, like one of your first like um house parties or 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 getting into a club? Actually, I, I want to say, uh, when was uh you, you did the house parties? When was the first time you you, you, you got in the club? Um, literally a year, after, in the club. a year after doing the house parties, basically. Um, what? I forgot, hold on. I forgot the name of this place. It used to be in Kensington Market. Um, I was doing a friend's birthday party and, um, the owner of, or the part owner of the spot is like, yo, I got this club in Kensington Market. But yeah, it was called Hallelujah Kazumba. And he's like, yo, if you want to try to do something there, come through, right? So I spoke to them. Ended up doing a weekly Wednesday over there. It was okay for my first time being in a spot, trying to do something. Ran it for a few weeks. Did one, two parties there. Then we had a party there once, and all types of BS happened, and someone pulled a knife and all, all kinds of stupid shit. <laughs> so that was the end of that. I, I, don't know I think that was in like 97. What's that? I don't know what's going on with the Wi-Fi. We're kind of we're kind of fuzzy right now. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I know. It's okay. It's whatever. <laughs> yeah, we'll, 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 we'll rock. Um, so yeah, uh, going to any of these um, any of these clubs? Did Did you ever take Car eighty five? Car eighty five. Yeah. What's that? Did, 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 did you ever listen to like Nas on, on the way, uh, on the way, or like um? Did did you ever feel like you had a king's disease? If what? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I want to get into like um why um uh, why why do you hate Nas on uh, in King's <laughs> okay. disease? I want to know why. I don't hate why. the Nas album. It just doesn't impress me because he basically basically everything he released in the past twenty years sounds. That those don't sound like throwaway tracks from what he released already. So it's like it's no like you listen to Stillmatic came out like nineteen years ago, yeah. And you listen to King's Disease. Do you see progression? Uh, Do you see progression? Like really? I, I, I'm not. He's been consistently good.
he's been consistently like um, but like uh, like for me like like Nas not, not my favorite rapper. What? Like like and Nas my favorite rapper and like um Stillmatic is is like a fucking classic to me. It's like you know like one of those hip hop classics. So it, it, it's hard to kind of compare to like um but, but but a lot of rappers a lot of rappers haven't haven't lived up to their classics. Right? Sorry, you're in. Oh shit, we're cutting out. Not good. So there? Yeah, yeah. We good? So I was saying, are we there? Shit. Yeah. Yeah, it keeps pausing on your end. Yeah, it just shows a. Um, do you want to log out and log back in? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, 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 I'll um log you out and log log back in. Okay. Let's see if we can get this working again. And Wi Fi. I don't know what's going on here, man. Damn Wi-Fi. Edgy TV. Yeah, should be okay now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so uh, yeah, so we're saying um, we'll, we'll, we'll start back over so we can get the the whole um uh, uh Nas part um so yeah. King, so so uh, the album King's Disease. <laughs> you're not a fan? I mean, it sounds like all his other albums. So it's like, okay, if you go back to Stillmatic, a very classic album. Yeah. Then we go to, like, Godson, and I can't name all the albums off the top of my head. Hip Hop is Dead, and the list goes on. What, what he's dropped in only in the past 19, 20 years. Not even yeah. what he dropped in the 90s. And you don't see, look, Nas, from he was 17 years old, has been dropping grown man raps. Literally. Right. Like, if, you, if you're if you a real Nas fan, you know he's been on some grown man shit since he was in his teens. Facts. Big facts. So I'm like, I, I get this album, and I'm, I'm okay. What's he going to talk about which he has never said already? And he hasn't didn't really touch on anything that was, I'm like, yeah, it's okay. It's so good. it's good. It's better than the one with Kanye. It's definitely it's better, better than the one he dropped last year. It's definitely better than like. But the, it's uh, better than too. it's better than an album that was trash. I mean, <laughs> like your album's better than an album that's trash. Like Eminem's album, which he dropped, uh, "Murder," whatever with the case, yeah. whatever the first one, that was sick. Royce the Five Nine, Nine album was sick. Russ's album uh, was sick. Uh, uh, G Herbo's uh, album was sick. Uh, uh, Buster uh, uh, Rhymes' uh, uh, album was sick. <laughs> then I hear Nas's album. I'm like, uh, it's all right. Mm. Hold on, it's um, all right. Me, me, I, I, I feel the Nas album is way better than the, the, the Eminem album. I wasn't a big fan of the, the yeah. Eminem album. Like, uh, yeah. the, the Royce album was fire. The Royce album, yeah. yes, yes. Uh, the uh, Royce album was great. Um, the Eminem album, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. It depends how you want to look at it. 
it has its moments, but it has more moments for me than on the Nas album. No disrespect yeah, to Nas, okay. I'm just like, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I still play records off the album, but it didn't excite me. I didn't even care for a Nas album. Like, why are you dropping another one? Like, I I I I I feel like I'm I'm a big fan of this of this new album. I I feel like um mm. I, I I really didn't, didn't like the, the Kanye project. The Kanye project I felt yeah. I felt I, I felt that was trash. Yeah, it was pretty. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, pretty, I'm, a, yeah. I'm a huge Nas fan, and that Kanye album was a. And then the, the mm. lost the lost tapes too wasn't. Um, it had it had some Murray joints on there, but uh, overall it wasn't that good. So when uh this album dropped. For me, like I was like, "Yo, like I, 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 I really liked it. Like how you came in on, on, on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah." Like I said, nothing that he hasn't done before. It's, yeah, you know, if you keep doing the same shit, what the fuck do I care? I can listen to your past five, six, seven albums to get that. That's all. Yeah. He tried. I like my yeah. favorite song on the album is "Spicy." And if that's my favorite song on the album, that's like, uh. okay, uh, that, uh, that 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 was the bonus, and like it was kind of different from the rest of the album. Um, yeah, like like for me, that that wasn't one of my favorites. I, I, and I get them, but that's what I'm saying. Like for me, if that's my favorite, then there's something wrong. Like I don't just listen to like a guy. I don't care if you rap. Like you rap, you're good, fine, that's great. But it's all about how the record feels, like. For sure. I don't know if you heard G Herbo's album, right? G, G Herbo's not a great rapper, but his album is fucking sick. Cause you, you can listen to his music and you can feel what he's saying. You can understand where he's coming from. I'm not saying I can't understand where Nas is coming from, but I've understood where Nas was coming from since '92. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I get, I Nas. Yes, we know who you are. We know what you're about, but you keep doing. You know, come on. Like, 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 what's what's one of the most creative songs that Nas has ever done? Like, um, I gave you power, rewind. I mean, creative. creative like, where you like, oh shit. There's a there's a few, but I'm just saying, like, yeah, those those two are like um a big up there. Um, I like Second Childhood. Yeah. Second childhood on, but I mean, like, like yeah. it's not that he's not a great storyteller and he's not creative, which he is, he is right. But I'm like, when it comes to like even with Eminem, Eminem has some sick concept songs for sure. But if he really wants to make a concept song, like Eminem has some standout concept records where you're yeah. like, God damn, you put a lot of effort into that. Nas, what he does is not that he doesn't, he's 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 above and beyond talented. It's almost like a rock cam thing where you don't even have to try. You're already good. You're already sick. But then yeah. you don't put any more effort than you need to. But nothing I, 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 What's that? I, I, I hear that, though. I, I, I hear that. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's kind of hard to kind of, like, keep raising the bar when, like, when, 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 like um, a lot of people look at um, Elmatic as, like, one of the best hip-hop albums of all time. So, like, it, 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 I, it is... I, I, What's that? It is, but yeah. is it one of not his best albums of all time? Actually, uh, it might be one of the best hip hop albums, of, but is it not his best album of all time? I don't think it's one of his best albums of all time. Me, my my favorite not his album is um, uh, mm. Stillmatic. Yeah, Stillmatic is a sick album. It's a very so, sick album. Yeah. To me, uh, yeah, you know I, I mean think so. That. I, 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 I still, I still mad is probably my favorite. Yeah. Uh, and my, uh, my thing about trolling the Nas album is once I did it once and I seen how people reacted, I did it yeah. again. I did it again. I'm like, you guys are still reacting the same way to me trolling you? Fuck, I'm going to keep doing it. Yeah. People are emotionally I, attached to records and I'm not. I, I, I actually wanted to um, touch on like... Um, and it's like, yeah, that's like, right. You're, you're trolling, like you're, yeah. like, uh, you're trolling is like top notch. Like, um, me, me and Maloney used to talk about trolling, and like we we thought we had some trolls, but like, yeah. like, like you're trolling is above ours. 
I don't know. I mean, tro you know, trolling, trolling is, um, I don't know. I've been trolling since I was a kid. <laughs> what up, Billy? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it, it was it was written was a dope album too. I'm just responding to some of the messages on the yeah, on the joint. Yeah, uh, yeah. I just kind of oh, yeah. what's yeah. that? Uh, I, I, I just kind of saved their uh, changed their thing. Can't really see the comments the way I used to see the comments. Oh, okay, okay, okay. There we go. Yeah, let's see it. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, trolling. It's just a, I don't know. It's, it's something to do. It keeps it keeps it, it keeps it entertaining. For it sure, keeps for it sure. entertaining. For sure. Uh, so, 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 so uh, I want to know um, who, who are some of your, your favorite DJs. Like, uh, oh. Let's get <laughs> let's get top five. Top five DJs. It's hard. Top five is hard, but I'll th I'll do what I can. Um, mm -hmm. Kid Capri. For sure. Um, fuck. You put me on the spot. Mm -hmm. Um, DJ Craze. Um, see, I might have to do two different categories because yeah. I'm I'm also thinking about DJ producers, right? So, okay, I, can, I probably can list out DJ producers more than I could do actual just DJs, even though Kika Pri is a, a producer too. Um, yeah. and I don't want to put they're, they're, certain they're, they're, DJs in there because it might take away. But I'll say Pete Rock. I'll say Primo. Um, one more. I'll throw in a Canadian at least. I'll say Mastermind because he was very influential. I'll say Four Master Flex as, as well. Um, there's other people. Tony Touch, he's one. So you can take out one, two guys from my there, but Tony Touch. Tony yeah. Touch is he's, he's really dope. There's other people, but Ron G, Ron G, the Blend King, he, you know, um, I, I went over, I went over. That's why it's hard to say five. <laughs> I'm yeah, gonna leave somebody sure. out. You know what I mean? For sure. Um, for even sure. Tech, the uh, Tech, DJ Tech, okay, from the Swain Tech Show. Yeah, yeah, DJ Tech, he's, he's sick with it. For sure. Mugs, RZA, there's too many. Yeah. <laughs> Too many, man. Definitely. So, um, my DJ Crazy's uh, up there. Even the ex executioners and Qbert and I am talking about DJs. I'll be here forever. But my favorite DJ right now, actually, there's three. DJ Michelle. I don't know. I don't know. If she's eight or ten years old. These two twin girls. They're not twins. They're sisters. I forgot their names. They're they're sick. And then DJ Livia. They're all little girls, and they're all sick. Oh, so, uh, I, I, yeah. How do you feel about um, like with with COVID happening, um, like uh, one of the biggest hits to the entertainment, uh, seeing the other people that I know would have to be like the biggest hit would be the the, the DJs, like um, I, I, to a degree. I mean, like in 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 um uh, in America, certain places are opened up, and DJs are still working. Um, what's that girl's name? DJ Michelle. She's in Dubai and she's doing all types of parties. She's doing uh, skating rinks. I didn't know they had a skating rink in Dubai. Um, she's doing all types of parties. So there's there's work. It just depends what region of the world you're in. For sure, for sure. I know some um, people they they flew out to Dominican to do parties. So, yeah. I mean, it's not it's bad, but it's whatever. <laughs> I call it an extended vacation. For sure, for sure. Um, so, what are you? Uh, what, what, what are your plans uh, moving forward with, like, um, uh, as far as like D DJing? What's that? Uh, what, 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 what are your plans, like, moving forward as far as DJing? Like, what? Um, oh. are, you, are you gonna be on on, on the lives? Um, yeah, I'm doing more lives. I'm doing more lives. Um. I was doing lives like back when I had a show on a, on a network called djshows.com back in 2003. So I, I, I've been doing lives. I was actually going to do lives before COVID. 
right? So it kind of worked in my favor because I'm like, shit, now I have no choice. You were already looking into uh, but it. But I was gearing up. Yeah. I was gearing up and planning for it anyways. So it's like it forced okay. me to continue to do it because I'm like, okay, now I can't leave the house, so fuck it. <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, we'll see. so, so, so I want to know uh, how did uh, how did Toronto talks uh, start, and, and and was um Toronto talks the first um like talk like um podcast you're on, or what, did you have other ones before okay. that? Okay, so how does this start? So more than two years ago, me and Dustin hit me up about doing a podcast. And we're making plans. We met up with a guy. Uh, we didn't really pursue that. So time went on. In between that time, I had a lot of people who hit me up to do podcasts. Um, even Friday from We Love Hip Hop, he hit me up about doing a podcast. So I did about, I think we did two or three episodes with Friday. And um, I get in a big argument with Dusty Wallace and um, a guy named Humble. Uh, over the Nicki Minaj Remy Remy Martin thing, yeah. And I I like to fuck with people. I, I like to troll people. So you know, <laughs> people get heated and yeah. whatever happened happened. And I told Friday, oh, this is good for the thing. And he didn't want it this way. So I was like, I told him, but it's like I told you I don't want to do this. I told you I didn't want it because <laughs> uh, <laughs> honestly, I don't like. I didn't want to do a podcast originally, and only because Dustin hit me up and I knew Dustin for a while. I was like, okay, I'm down to do it. So time goes on, and then Dustin hits me up again. I said, all right, cool. Let's, I don't know if we had a meeting or something. or we got, I don't know what happened, but we just said, okay, let's try it out. And I, I'm familiar with Max FM. I know I know um, Mikey and friggin' um, Chris. And yeah. I, when Mike, Mike Boogie started, um, Max, he wanted me more involved at the time. He goes, because at the time, too, I was on some, I fucked around, I fucked this, fucked that, fuck everything. And he's like, I know how you feel about shit, but you know, blah, blah, blah. So the talk about doing a podcast has always been there. So we finally hooked up and we did it and we just kept doing it. The, the energy and the chemistry was great. So that's, for me, where the story is at. I, those two guys will probably have a different version of the story. <laughs> I mean, from what I know, the reason why uh, Dustin wanted to do it was because he see I, what he saw in the industry and what he saw amongst the um, the whole entire scene. He wanted to address, right. so that was kind of a part of it. And and then Maloney, I'm not exactly well. Maloney was already doing his thing already, right? He had breaking records. Yep. He had stuff with you, yeah. The, the no condom joint. So he's already in his groove. Yeah. So. Now it's a matter if we get back together again, we'll, how are we going to take it to the next level? For sure, that's what it's all about right now. For sure, definitely. Uh, I I definitely tuned into a lot of the episodes and uh, I definitely uh, in, enjoyed it. I'm definitely uh, a, fan, a fan of the show. You no, know? yeah, watched, and I didn't even know they did. So that's a good thing. <laughs> For sure. You, you know, so. You guys came out on our show, the No Condom Podcast. Oh yeah, I yeah, remember that. Yeah, <laughs> that, that was a pretty dope episode. Uh, I, I, remember, I remember at one point we were saying some crazy shit, and, and you looked at us, you're like, "Oh, so this is what the No Condom Podcast is like." <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely, um, definitely had a good time. Definitely do that. Um, so, so, um, is there any questions you got for me? Um, I don't know. I gotta think about that. <laughs> I actually had one, and then I totally forgot. So, and this is hitting me. Oh man, I haven't drank a lot of this yet. Hold up. I have to try that. Oh, what was that again? How long? How long have you been doing um the no condom in this one for? Um, the no condom probably started uh. Uh, three years back, and okay. then uh, and uh, the the IGTV is probably nine years. Oh shoot, that's a that's a minute. Yeah, that's a minute. <laughs> oh, for sure, for sure. Um, so uh, you you. Oh, sorry. Go uh, ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I, I was saying. So like, you... Go ahead. 
Sorry, yeah, my so, bad. <laughs> Go ahead. So, 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 so I started with um, I, 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 I was I was rapping at the time, and uh, mm. I, 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 I knew all these uh, artists around from different cities and stuff like that that I've been doing these shows with, and I, mm. I was watching a lot of interviews on um, like the Breakfast Club, um, Hot ninety seven, all these kind of interviews, and kind of watching the the bigger known rappers and, and kind of learning stuff about um how, how things go right. Mm-hmm. So uh, so I was, I was watching that. I was like, okay, this guy got on like this. This guy got on like this. And I was learning all this stuff through um, these interviews, and then uh, it, it clicked to me one day. I was like, yo, all these local rappers that that, that um that I know, they have no outlet to tell tell their story. Oh yeah, for sure. So I was like, yo, if, if I start interviewing all, all these local rappers around here, like none of them had done an interview. Uh, like I was I was looking. We we have like a um, a venue packed with people, um, we're watching the whole thing, watching us all perform, but nobody knows anything else about us besides our music. Yeah, exactly. So I was like, so I was like oh, I, like um, some of these some of these people are like super cool dudes. Some are uh, right, some of them are assholes. But like fucking less, like fucking less. Uh, I want people to know, like, um, because I I got trying to get other people out, out to the shows. They were kind of like, oh, I don't know, really know, because they were kind of like. A rap show. They don't know how it is. They don't know how people's personalities are. So if like, people see these yeah. the interviews, they see the interviews and see people's personalities. I was like, yeah, they might come out more. And then yeah, started, yeah, for sure. It's a good, it's a good promotional tool. For sure, for sure. And then it started a snowball effect. After I caught a couple out, people just started messaging me and was like, hey, I want to get on the show. So then it, just, it just continued. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's how that. Yeah, nine, nine years is a long time, man. Yeah, a man. long time, man. It's a good long time. For sure, for sure. I, I, I have a lot so, of great times um, and great memories through it. Mm-hmm. So, who was your favorite person to interview? I know it's hard to sum it up to one person, but even a few. What were some um, of your favorite interviews? Uh, I'll do um, um, a couple. Um, Maloney was actually my my second interview. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I, I did it on the show. Um, one of my interview, one of my favorite interviews with him was um, um, downtown Brantford, the the, the 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 main street um, shut down for construction and stuff like that. So we we, we, okay. we, had, a, we had a great view of like d- down the street. Um, another person is um, uh, 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 um, Lee, uh, I've been drinking a little bit. Yeah. So, uh, my um, Brother Burns, uh, or, or Ross Burns mm-hmm. Hamilton, uh, he mm-hmm. was actually a big part of um, starting my show because when, when, when I want to get out of town in interviews, he was like, "Hey, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll actually meet you. Can actually meet all, all the different artists in, in Hamilton. You, you, you can sleep on my couch, and then you, you just go back to Brantford on um, um, the next day, right?" So, so Burns, yeah. um, uh, Claire was a really dope interview. Okay. Uh, Shock there was um Sharon. Sharon was a uh, mm-hmm. um, um um DNA. DNA was a good one. Battle rapper DNA. Okay. Um um yeah, I've had a couple. Yeah, those are a couple that are some of the standout ones. Um um uh, GD Air. GD Air. Okay, yeah, good. yeah. Um, who, who are some of the people you, you, you had on uh, Toronto Talks? Favorite interviews on Toronto Talks. Yeah. Um, Daniel was a good interview. It was very informative. That was a dope one. That was a dope one. I'll check out the whole Daniel, pri- private name, private number. Um, when Century, Century Sam, Chill, when Chill came on, even though audio was all messed up <laughs> we need to actually redo that interview but um regardless it was a good interview there's um what else can i think of oh that uh, there's a lot like g wonder um one of the, a good one was with uh, mike g uh, my gut okay when um there was an there was an issue with him and um the uh, promoter what's the promoter's name again the guy who does rock pile and he was supposed. Both of them were supposed to come on and discuss the issue, but for some reason the promoter didn't end up showing up. But 
it was still a dope interview because Mike was able to speak about his grievances and you know there's a lot of jewels in that that interview. So there's a there's a whole bunch of others. I'm not trying to miss, leave anybody out. Trust me. <laughs> um, Bougie Boo, she's a up, up and coming comedian. That one was off the chain. She actually wanted to come on the No Condom podcast after. Yeah. After you know what I mean, like she was on some wild shit. She was saying all types of shit. <laughs> I think one of one of one of her clips got like 14k views. Nice. I think it had to do with the abor abor abortion porn or some shit like that. Oh yeah, yeah. Some some, some weird ass shit. Yeah. <laughs> abortion porn. No anything fun. dirty. Anything dirty gets hit online. Yeah. Uh, 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 all the dirty shit. Um. Um, you, you, even uh, us, we got the masturbating in public hit like ninety four thousand. Yeah. Ninety four thousand views. People are big. fucked. <laughs> <laughs> sure, <right? laughs> People are fucked up, man. For sure, for sure. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I, I wanted um, I, I, I got a good uh, um history of like um, how uh, you started and everything like that. Um, talk about some dope shit. Um, so uh, is there any um things you like, you like to say to people like, before wrapping this up? Um, stay safe. Don't get sick. Don't do anything stupid. Do a lot of research. <laughs> um, I'm giving them old man bars now, man. Straight sure. up, sure. something awesome. that people. I, I wish somebody told me when I was younger. <laughs> right? Um, what else? Try try to live peaceful and and love in in twenty twenty one. Don't do with any bullshit. Don't take any bullshit. Don't follow big, stupid shit. Big, big <laughs> Stay time. healthy, man. Yeah, big drink big chill vodka. And I, like I said, I'm not doing this because he's my boy. I'm just doing it because it's good. And he, homeboy put in a lot of work, so I, I know I know Neto from. He started chill, and it, and I seen the struggle, so I got to support it. Yeah, it's definitely a hard thing to, to, to uh, a liquor company. Um, yeah, a, a, a lot of struggles with that. So uh, shout out to him on that. Um, yeah, for sure. You should try to get him on the show. I, I was just about to say, uh, yeah, I I I'd love to have um on the show. That that'd be dope. For yeah, sure. man, definitely. For sure. All right, man. Everybody, um, follow Mike Stone. Everybody follow at EGTV. And uh, yeah, man. Thanks for having. Uh, thanks for coming on the show. Yeah, no problem, bro. We had some dope talk. Dope, dope talk. And uh, anytime you want to come back on. Yeah, anytime, bro. Anytime, man. Yeah. Anytime. Sure. You can get the for sure. <laughs> and, uh, I, I was say, before wrapping this up, um, at, at some mm -hmm. point. We should have a, a whole um, Toronto Talks No Condom episode together. So it'd be me, you, Loney, and, and, and Dustin. Oh, yeah, straight up. Uh, I guess we got to do that on Zoom, I guess. Yeah, yeah, we can do that on, on Zoom. Yeah, because we, we have more options to have more people. For sure. <laughs> for sure. That, that, that'll be a, a dope episode. I, I, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right. All right, man. You, All right, cool, you, man. You have a good yeah, night. Man. You have a good night, and, uh, and 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 stay safe for sure. Yeah, for sure, brother. All right, man. All right. All right. All right. Peace. Peace. Easy.